cold from letting Tiara borrow your cape? Don't let your guard down! My turn! Let's do this! Get ready!
power! I'm ready! Get ready! Let's do this! Here! Uh, I'm alright! Get ready! My turn! Let's do this! Executing burning strike! Stronger now. You did pretty good, Erin. I didn't know you had this new power. Well, I have a piece of the goddess's power. If I decide to get serious, I'm capable of all kinds of things. I can't believe you activated it at exactly the right time! I was so annoyed that Tiara was worried about me that I just powered up! Which means I am the reason you were able to power up at all! You both owe me a sizable life debt! So yourself. I didn't literally say thanks to Tiara, you ingrate. You guys are so damn loud. You may say mean things to each other, but you're still helping each other grow. That's what being friends is all about. No matter your differences or how much you both argue, you help each other out in times of need, even if you don't want to. thing to say about us, but... I can't believe how much my nose is running. I'm tired and hungry. I'm craving something sweet, actually. Then your wish is granted. Whoa! Look at all these sweets! Did someone summon a dessert genie or what? Why, hello there. Sorry to bother you. Harley! Pops! Hmm? Huh? Why do you know my name? Ah, uh, well, um, despite my looks, I'm actually interested in researching fairies, and, um, that's why I know who you are? I see. You're interested, huh? W what Oh, uh, just so we're clear, I'm not stalking you or anything. 
You're silly. Of course I don't think you're a stalker. <laughs> She's not the type to get stalkers. She spends her days locked inside a pigsty of a room doing research and eating junk food. Anyway, where did you get that cape? Oh, I found it earlier. I'm pretty grateful for that, actually. I left that cape, but it's all right. You can have it if you want. So, this cape was yours, huh? What were you doing at the Catechus Ice Caves, then? You know about me, too? Hey, I'm not an old man. Fang, do you and Aaron know these people? This is gonna get complicated, so butt out. Go on, shoo, shoo! Uh, shooing me away like a bothersome insect? <sighs> oh well, if you know who I am, that makes this easier. I'm Harley, a fairyologist. This is my fairy partner, Bahas. I'm sorry for waiting in your room like this to ambush you. I actually want to ask you for a favor. Yeah, sure. Anyway, is it cool if I eat these desserts? You don't mind, right? Thanks for the food! No fair, Aaron! That one's mine! <laughs> it's so delicious! This custard slice has the perfect amount of whipped cream. The fruits are so fresh and the texture just melts in my mouth. Mm, um, mm, this tiny cake thing is much tastier. Oh, the outside is perfectly cooked and the inside is overflowing with thick, juicy chocolate. Mm, mm, the gooiness of the chocolate mixed with the moist outside is totally amazing. Hey, you guys, you mustn't eat food that doesn't belong to you without permission. And where in the world did you learn to be food critics? That's great to hear. All that baking was worth it just to see your happy faces. Whenever I cook for Harley, she's never impressed. Unfortunately, I have no sense of taste. Hey, fancy lady, feel free to help yourself. I don't mind. Really? Well, if you insist... Just so you know, this tiny cake thing is mine. Mine, I say! Then I shall try some macaroons. How are they? Amazing! It tastes so delicious! As if my stomach has been reunited with an old friend! Well said. I'm quite picky about what goes in my dishes, and I go out of my way to not use harmful ingredients. Really? I didn't know that. What? Really? Mm, geez, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, oh man, it's so good. Yep, yep. I totally wouldn't mind repeating this moment over and over again. It's strange, though. Whatever happened to Dorfus' dinner party? Man, you're so rude. You think about food all the time. That's not what I mean. We met Harley after we met Lord Sherman at Dorfus' party. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Tiara, have you received an invitation to a party from the, uh, Dorfa Corporation? No, I haven't received any invitation. I heard the party Dorfa was planning to throw got cancelled. What do you mean? Hmm, there's only one explanation I can think of. The exact moment we traveled back in time became the singularity. Because of that, the past events leading up to that singularity are beginning to change. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, but is it alright if I explain what I'm doing here? Talking's free, so talk away. <laughs> Thanks. Apparently there's a fury at the Zawaza Plains, but it's being guarded by one of Dorfa's executives. The Zawaza Plains? She must be talking about Apollonius! You know about him, too? Jeez, you guys have good connections. Well, I've said pretty much everything I want to say. Let's all team up so we can collect that fury. Why do I have to do that? I'll pass. Thanks. We'll do it. We must cross this unavoidable path if we are going to revive the goddess. Eh, I knew this was gonna happen. I don't mind going to the Zawaza Plains, but what's your deal, Harley? You're not doing this just out of kindness, right? I'm a fencer too. Dorfa looks like they're up to no good, so I'd rather see you kids collect the Furies. For the sake of world peace and all that. Of course, that's not entirely accurate either. You guys were at the Catechus Ice Cave yesterday, right? Yeah? I have a device for measuring the energy output of fairies, and it recently recorded an unprecedented amount of energy. I was interested in finding out what kind of fairy could produce such power, so I went searching for the one responsible. Is that... She's probably talking about when Fang and I returned to the past. By coincidence, I saw you guys coming just as I was planning to investigate inside the Catechus Ice Cave. I'd never seen your faces before, so my curiosity was piqued. Shortly after, my device recorded another demonstration of enormous fairy energy coming from inside the cave. Your device must have recorded the moment Eren's power forced the Broken Fury to evolve. Evolve, huh? That's very interesting. The reading wasn't as big as the one from the other day, but it was still impressive. I got even more curious about what kind of fairy could produce such energy, so I followed after you guys. And that led me here, to this inn. Also, just think of those capes of yours as my way of helping you out. You didn't seem dressed for the season. Wow, that was nice of you. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, does that mean you were stalking us the whole time? <sighs> I'd say that's typical Harley behavior, but I'm a little scared. She's just interested in me, right? <laughs> Come here, little fairy. I don't bite. For some reason, her eyes seem way scarier than they did before! All jokes aside, I just want to study that fairy's power up close. Honestly, I don't really care about world peace or doing what's right. Would you mind if someone like me tagged along with you? Not at all. Um, how should I put this? I'm already used to it. If Fang okays it, then I guess it's settled. Thanks, I'm happy to hear that. It's refreshing to see enthusiastic eaters for a change. I'll make sure to feed you guys plenty during our journey. For sure. I hope we get along, Pops. We need to be careful if we're gonna go up against Dorfa. Anyway, what's your fairy's name, Fang? Aaron. Aaron, huh? It'd be bad if something happened to you. I'd better thoroughly examine that pretty body of yours. You're very interesting, Aaron. You're gonna have to show me how deep this rabbit hole goes. No! Get away from me, you quack! This has certainly taken a turn for the bazaar. He's only gonna experiment on Aaron, though. We still get to enjoy Bahas' free food. My condolences, Aaron.